Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the month you have given us, Lord, this new month of July. Indeed, shall be a month of joy all the way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. From our Rhapsody of Realities, today's topic comes to us saying, Triumphant in Adversities. Triumphant in Adversities. Hallelujah. We understand that being children of the Most High God, that means we are children of lights. We are in this world, but not of the world. And because we're not of this dark world, the one who is the ruler of this dark world is against God's children, who are the children of light. Hallelujah. He will fight us with everything he has. But thanks be to God that we are triumphant already. We are victorious already in our Lord Jesus' name. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who have, who have, who made us more than conquerors. That means he conquered and made us become what? More than conquerors. Be more than conquerors means that we are not, we are not called to go and conquer the devil on our own. He has already conquered the devil and now we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. And every day we are simply establishing our victories. So we are triumphant in the adversities. It doesn't matter whatever we are facing as God's children. We are triumphant in them all. Hallelujah. Now let's look at the first scripture for today. That's Romans 8 verse 35 to 37. Romans chapter 8 verse 35 to 37. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Now, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We are more than conquerors. So it doesn't matter how the enemy comes, be it persecution, be it nakedness, be it distress, be it peril, be it sword, be it um, tribulation, whatever, be it femi, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So this is based on the Father's love that, that we, are, we are what? More than conquerors. Hallelujah. Amen. We are loved by God. Glory be to God. That's why it says the earlier part. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? So that based on the love of Christ, we understand that what we have conquered the enemy and enemy and his works. Based on the love of Christ towards us, he loved us so much. He loved us so much. How Jesus, you know, how God loved the world and he said his one and only begotten son, right? And now he has come to pay the price, even when we are yet sin as he died for you and I. And now he lives in us. Now we have been called his own because he lives in us. Now we can be called the children of light. Christ in me, the hope of glory. So Christ Jesus lives in me. And because he lives in me, doesn't matter what the enemy brings against me, I rule over all these things. Hallelujah. I reign in his name. Hallelujah. I'm, I have what? I have triumphant in all adversities of life. Glory be to God. That means you're a winner man all the way. You never fail in life. Always a winner man. Glory. Sometimes when people give their heart to Christ, they assume they aren't supposed to face adversities. Or persecutions. But the Bible says, count it all joy when you go through diverse tests. That's in James 1 verse 2. Count it what? All joy when you go through diverse tests. Why do you say count it all joy when you go through diverse tests? It says, tests, trials, and persecutions are all part of the package. Never be fluttered by them because you are more than a conqueror. You are a victor in Christ Jesus. Glory. You see that? So can't it all joy when you go through diverse, of, diverse tests? They only came to what? Build your faith. They only came to make you know that what? There's a spiritual world out there where you are what? You are part of, which is what? Kingdom of Christ. They only came to what? Expose the works of devil to you. So that you can now what? Apply your what? Your victory. Make your victory known in that area. Lifting up the banner Christ to all. Uh, to all. Hallelujah. So that means in that area, the enemy tries to attack you. You lift the banner Christ. The, how, how Christ loves you. And then the victory you have received in Christ Jesus. For he has conquered all things on the cross. Right? He had different Satan and his cohorts. And that Satan has been placed under your feet. Glory be to God. So it doesn't count it all joy, all joy, all joy. That means a believer should never be found depressed or saddened or sad. Right? That means what? Every day of my life is full of joy. Everything I do, I'm full of joy. Oh, hallelujah. You are always joyful. It doesn't matter in, in the midst of adversities, you are full of joy. Why? You are counting that adversity as what? All joy. That test, that trial is part of what? The joy of the Lord, which is my strength to overcome all the wicked works of the enemy. To now establish my beauty in Christ Jesus. To establish who he has made me to be. 
I'm making known who, who, who has made me to be to the enemy and his cohort. So they're known as Christ lives in me. And Christ is at work in me. The love of Christ in me has been more than conquer over them. Hallelujah. The Bible says, what? We should reign and rule over what? The, demon of, uh, the kingdom of darkness. We have to reign over the works of, of, of Satan. We are called to reign over them. That's why I call a king. Hallelujah. As a king, you reign over them. You rule this world. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The devil will try to sway you or throw that at you. He may prowl around seeking whom he may devour. But the word says, but the word tells you what to do. Resist him with your faith. Hallelujah. Resist him with what? Your faith. Devil will try to what, sway you or throw that at you. What is the purpose of throwing that dart at you? Don't, the one I want that enemy wants to do against a believer is to sway the believer from believing who he is already. That was the same tactics used against the first man, Adam and Eve, right? He told Eve, Eve already, God had made man in his very, very own image and likeness. But he now not and deceived, um, uh, he deceived um, Eve into eating from the, from, the, from the forbidden tree, which is the tree of what? The knowledge of good and evil. By deceiving her to believe that the day she eat of that tree, she will be like God, whereas she was already like God. You see that? So what the enemy, the enemy works that he tries to deceive man. He tries to deceive God's children. You know, at that time, um, Adam and Eve, they had fellowship with God, right? And you and I have been restored back to their fellowship with God, right? That means you're not more of this world. Hallelujah. Though we are in this world, but not of, of what? Of this world. That means you're not in, in line with the system of this world. Now, the devil wants every, every child of God to be like his own children. Because this is what I call it, children of darkness. He wants them to fall into the what? Into the trap he has set for his children. Who are in what? In the dark world. So what he comes to do is that what? He will come with fairy darts. That, that is what, to make them question who they are. It may be a believer that God has said, just the way he told um, um, Jesus, God has said that this is my beloved son who I'm well placed, right? Now, the devil came to me and said, I said something to him. If you are a son of God, turn this um, stone into bread. You see that? The same, Jesus, God has told, has declared that this is my son, right? Now, the devil came to attack Jesus' identity. If you are a son of God, turn this, bread, this stone into bread. That is the same way he goes around looking for who to, de- to, to deceive. But he says, but Jesus says to us, what he says, says to us, he says, but the word tells you what to do. Resist him with your faith. Resist him with your faith. That means, what has the Lord said about you? Now, the word of faith that we receive, what has he said about you? Because he will come with his doubts, with his doubts at you. Maybe even in form of sickness. Try to give you the contrary of what God has said about you. For any time a, a, a believer is fa- has fallen sick, that means what is a is a is a is is a, is a voice from the pit of hell coming against what God has said in the place of what healing for that believer. So what do you do? You you, you, you lift your word, your shield of faith. Declare what the Lord has said about you. What has the Lord said about you? He said you are made whole, you are healed in him, right? So declare that I made it what established in that area. So that adversity that they may have set against you, which is what sickness, it has what averted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So we have received this in Christ Jesus. We have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in his love towards us. That even in the, uh, the works of the enemy, that, yeah, the, the, the enemy's works against us, all of these dance against us. For example, a believer that the God, the God, the God has have lifted, Maybe in the place of finances. Now you will come with everything trying to make that believer to feel like, you know, to fall in the place of lack. That's the enemy's work. He wants believer to, he wants the church of God to fall in the place of lack. He will take this into the wrong identity of who he is, who he is not. But you have to do what? Stand strong in your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Apply your shield of faith everywhere. Resist him with your faith. Resist him with your faith. They will get your hands off my money. Resist him with your faith. By what? Doing the necessary works. Know who the Lord has said you are. For he has given you abundance in himself. Hallelujah. You never call to be poor. No, he has given you all things to enjoy. And he has given you all that you need to come to his word. Good works. Glory. So the enemy's works to keep you in poverty was never from God. So you are, come, you are going to come against that adversity in the name of Jesus and cast it out from you in Jesus' name. That the Lord will indeed you establish the victory that you received in Christ Jesus. That I have made you rich in him. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, now, Ephesians 6 verse 16 says to use the same faith, your shield of faith, to neutralize and extinguish Satan's, and, and extinguish Satan's fairy darts. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked. All, that means in any angle he comes from. All the very dust of the wicked, they are quenching them all in Jesus' name. Yeah. All the very dust of the wicked, 